Hi everyone, this is Kim from Kim's Vintage Obsessions and I'm here with 3D Printing Max. Hey guys. Um, we're here at Mother Tucker's Antiques and Collectibles in Ephrata, PA and we're going to film a come antiquing with us video. We're sitting in his, what, what car is it? It's an MG Midget. It's a, what, 1974? MG Midget yep. that he like restored himself, so it's pretty fun. I have my hair scarf and my um, cat eye sunglasses so I can have my Grace Kelly moment. But <laughs> um, yeah, I'm excited to bring you guys antiquing and I'll give you guys some good footage. So we found a ladle and also call back to one of my other videos, I was able to find a napkin holder. This one is beautiful, handmade in Italy. This one might come home with me to be determined, but I love the color of that. And also I don't have a ladle for when I serve soups, like my cold peach cream soup. So that might come home with me too. But um, yeah, good find, Max. Thank you. So call back to my other video where I mentioned the planter's peanuts. Um, here are what I'm assuming to be the containers for the peanuts. They're like, like an egg carton kind of horrifying on the inside um, yeah planters peanuts though more merch got excited for a second hoping that these were glass swizzle sticks I was fortunate to find eight clear ones that I have in my collection but I want to add fun colorful ones for whenever I make mocktails um, so the hunt continues Max are you looking for anything particular today looking for some glass knives for my grandmother a beautiful set of orifers smoke glass um, glasses Orphers, I believe, is a Swedish glass company. I think I have one, two sherbet dishes made by them. So it's kind of exciting to see that brand around here. But as far as smoke glass goes, it's not my favorite, but these do have a very classy appeal to them. So this is actually the store where I found a glass knife when I came here a couple months ago with Max. It was right in here. And um, unfortunately there's not another one today, but hopefully we can come across one later. Um, I think another cool story, I don't know if it was this store, but one of the stores in Ephrata or Adams, Adams County, I believe, I was able to find a glass knife because the crazy lamp lady, another YouTuber who does a lot of antiquing stuff, she was filming her walkthrough as she normally does and my dad found it on the shelf and we went there in person and were able to snag it. So that's a cool story behind one of my glass knives. How cute are these little punch cups? Honestly, these would match my my own punch cup. That looks like the Ruby Flashed, yeah. Ruby Flashed, I think it's a set of six for $40, so not the best price on those. Well, this is a neat little lamp, or a vase, rather. That's beautiful. And Fun hats. This is beautiful. I think this might be a berry bowl, but the rib pattern with the ruby color is stunning. And there's another um, ruby colored compote back there. cranberry glass. I'm particularly fond of cranberry glass, although I don't believe I own any of it. Every time I see it, I'm always shocked by the color, and it's so pretty. Oh, Max found this on the shelf. Uh, looks like a comb to me, but apparently this is a cake cutter. Do any of you folks know anything about um, this or how you use it? Uh, I've never seen a cake cutter like this. So I love petal wear. It's a type of pattern or a glass style from the 30s. It's super thin. This is the translucent um, milk glass appearance. Um, they're just so clear. Like this here, you can see through it. They're thin. They feel very fragile. It's amazing that something this delicate can last this long, but I always get excited when I see it because I love how delicate those um, 
that line of glassware is. This has to be the fanciest creamer I've ever seen. I love this. I, unfortunately, there's no matching sugar, but wow, that is beautiful. The thing I love about coming antiquing is when some of the shop owners or the booth owners set things up. Um, here, this person, they have a shelf dedicated to a black and white table set up for a mix and match. I just think that's lovely and somebody might be inspired to set their table a certain way just off of shopping. So how exciting is that? I like the design of this, very futuristic. I'm not entirely sure what it is. Oh, tea light holders. So for little candles. Um, those are funky. I like those. We got some cobalt mugs. I would love to find a set of cobalt uh, drinking glasses because then I would be able to find or have a complete cobalt table setting. How exciting would that be? But these mugs are cute. I don't come across glass coffee mugs that often, so I always love finding those. Here we have the ultramarine sugar and creamer that matches my teacups. These might come home with me, um, but then I would have a complete, I guess, tea set in this color. Um, 1937 Jeanette Ultramarine. Those are stunning. But these are little tiny Brandy Swifter shot glasses, so um, classy shots, question mark? Here we hit the ruby glass jackpot. We have um, nine saucer and teacup sets. We have some tumblers, the creamer and sugar, uh, this lonely bowl over here. But um, ruby glass is honestly one of my favorites in the sun. We have more brandy sniff snifters, more of a normal size. Not those tiny cute shot glasses. But oh, more smoke glass over here. Seems to be a popular color at this store. Look how fun the little whale character is. I don't have a bell. Do I need a dinner bell for service? Maybe. Something I will consider. Um, ooh, over here, look how fun. It's a picture with different cars on it and uh, different model cars of different years. These ones look really old. I've seen ones that have um, from the 50s, like Thunderbirds and stuff, but these are the early 1900s. Uh, that's absolutely beautiful. Here's a very colorful booth. We have greens and blues and some purple over there. And we have some lucite grapes over here. I know I saw the lamp lady pick up something like this in purple at one point in her videos. So that was pretty cool. Um, oh, we have some green ones over here. I'm thinking that these are, correct me if I'm wrong, 1980s decorations. Were these popular in the 80s? So I've heard. Also, I must say, this pattern here, I don't know the name of it, but it reminds me of gumdrops or your hard candies. Uh, this one's a toothpick holder, but how cute is that? It's a weird vase. I am assuming this is decorative, um, but it's strangely heavy. Or a lot heavier than you would expect when you pick it up. But beautiful glasswork. There's honestly so much glass in this store. A lot of odds and ends that I normally don't see at antique stores. Like this is beautiful, cranberry flashed, cut to clear. It's a nice heavy quality lead crystal. So pretty. What we found here found is a, a cranberry server. So you know that um, canned cranberry sauce that comes in a can at Thanksgiving or Christmas time? Yeah, so we not only do we need to get a, um, a tomato spoon, but we also need a cranberry sauce server. This funky salt and pepper set. It's a sunny side up egg. You have the pepper and the salt. It's just plastic, but oh, that's pretty, pretty cool. Um, bunch of neat pens. Oh, these are those ones that have like floaty things inside. I used to like to play with these as a kid. Souvenir pens, probably somebody's collection. Ended up here. Back up to this section here where we had the sunny side up eggs. I completely walked past these, but look, little hot plate or like a coffee set for salt and peppers. You got a toaster. Why, why, why do people not have these in their houses now? I've never seen anyone with these fun salt and pepper shakers, like little corns. I think these are outhouses. The one with the tricycle. Oh, that's you neat. Put them in. The tricycle, you put them in the back. Okay, these ones are actually really funny. Um, if you can get a good look at the outhouse ones. Um, but there's so many. It has a boat. Oh, a boat. And... Oh, I, is that a pipe? I think a pipe. that's a pipe. All little 
pans. Little pans. Little pots and pans. These are so fun to look at. I need to get some fun ones for my table. That would be really entertaining. Got hound dogs. These ones clogs. are cool. Shells, clogs. Oh, these ones. These ones are fun. It's like a young married couple and then they get old and fat. Found something else that's pretty funny. This is a thirst aid kit. We have gin, bourbon, and scotch in little vials. That'd be a fun gag gift for somebody. I actually have two of these at home. I have an orange one and a green one that I use for salad dressings whenever I have a salad out. But they're crackle glass and they're hand blown. Um, these usually go for a, a lot more money than I would expect. Like for instance this one, it's like 14. I think I paid about 15 each for mine, but this one here is five. So it varies, but they're really beautiful and they catch the sun wonderfully. Alrighty, so we're back from our trip. Time for our haul. I did get the napkin holder. I don't have anything in this color and it is Murano glass. So it's my first piece of Murano glass and um, sorry, don't mind the motorcycle noise, but it kind of looks like a taco. So how fun is that? Um, just a little taco napkin holder put it out for my outdoor picnics and it's really heavy so we don't have to worry about it blowing away but what did you think of the antiquing experience it was a lot of fun yeah he's interested in oil cans I mean everybody has their own thing when they come antiquing so that's fun I mean when I go out with some of my my girlfriends they want jewelry or purses but he likes oil cans but to each their own so thank you guys for watching this was Kim for